Hi everybody, today is another episode of Tales from the Trigger. Hi everybody, today is another episode of Tales from the Trigger where we have real people with real stories and real life lessons that we get to learn from all of them. Before anything else, I would like to say a huge thank you to all of you who keep supporting the channel. I will not get tired of saying thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you for always watching, for always commenting. For those of you who are joining me for the very first time today, welcome to the channel. Please do give this video a thumbs up and consider clicking that red subscribe button down there and the notification bell next to it so you can always be updated with our latest videos. Because true to the name of this channel, I move daily, you move daily, and you get brand new videos every single day. So always watch out for that. Now, without further ado, let's proceed to today's tale from the trigger. I was getting frustrated that I wasn't making enough progress. The other day, my eight-year-old and I were having a conversation and I made the comment about me being chunky. He said, Mommy, you not chunky, you're skinny. Not something I ever thought of myself as. Not after a lifetime of mental abuse. Six years out, I'm still working on it. After leaving an abusive marriage, I went back to school to be able to give my son a better life as a single mom than what I was able to provide at the time. And I put on a lot of weight. But even at my lowest weight, I didn't have the muscles and the shape that I'm creating now. After a lot of thought of that conversation with my son, I went back to my star photos two years ago and did a side by side and was floored. I didn't realize I have come as far as I have. I knew I made a little progress, but I usually only compare every few weeks, not from the very beginning. Today's story is just so precious and I think a lot of people can relate to this story because there are a lot of us who change up our lifestyle, start to exercise, start to eat right, sleep well, drink a lot of water. Those little things that we think won't necessarily build up to help us change. Sometimes we just think, nah, they're, they're just very little things that won't really give huge changes in our lives, but here we look at it in this story and sometimes we tend to criticize ourselves a lot more. It's funny that it takes other people for us to realize that our health and fitness journey has actually made such a difference and such a change in our lives. Another thing worth mentioning in this story is the fact that there are different ways for people to gauge their progress and I'm sure a lot of us do also have our own personal standards um, in terms of are we really a better version of ourselves now or are we not making any type of progress at all. So it is a relatable kind of situation. And I think that we ourselves should also be able to learn from that. Don't weigh yourself every single day. That's pretty much gonna frustrate you. It'll always be best to look at your progresses at a longer duration of time to really see the differences that happen to you and how better you 
have really become another successful story shared with us. Thank you so much, Marie, for giving us the opportunity to learn from your own story. And I hope that we all do recognize in ourselves as well, you know, especially for many of us who have been in and out of a fitness journey. Sometimes it does seem a bit frustrating to not see any type of progress happening in ourselves or sometimes we don't get to recognize that we really are getting better. Take a little step back and see the type of standard that we're placing on ourselves. What's really important is for us to be able to sustain the type of healthier lifestyle that we want not just for ourselves, but also for our family and for our loved ones. So Marie, thank you so much for sharing this story with us today. And for those of you who also have your own stories to tell, please don't be shy, message me your stories. I am on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram. And if you'd like, you can also send me an email. Thank you so much everyone for watching today and joining me today. I'm RK, reminding you always to never give up on your movement journey because it's never too late to move.